Good, good, good. Okay, so LA just had an iconic weekend with the Kendrick Lamar concert that just happened. Um, people were out in droves because they were so excited about this. He um, basically decided to make it the Like Us concert, and he had a lot of the um, lo not Las Vegas, a lot of Los Angeles artists who are legends come out, and some who are a little bit who are legends in the making. So he had Dr. Dre out there. He had YG out there. He had Mustard. Um, DJ Head was there as well. He had a set, and then he also brought out some some characters that people might not know, like Tommy the Clown, um, but he's well known in LA and he is one of the people who's been known for starting crumping. Um, but in general, after all of that, it's got people thinking, what is happening with Drake and J. Cole right now? What is it that their fans are looking for them to put out next? And that's why we here at the Bar Exam are gonna be discussing it. So coming before the bar, is the question what is drake and j cole doing going to be putting out next and what do their fans want to hear from them so fellas what do you think what do you think we can expect from drake or cole coming up i think personally it's gonna be a lot easier for j cole i think and actually I've already started seeing him do it. He's already been jumping on people's remixes. He's already been featured on other people's songs. Again, just like he did when he went on his crazy feature run. So I think personally, just based off of the trajectory of both artists, it's going to be a lot easier for J. Cole to come back because of the type of music that he makes and be because of the type of people that he touches. I think with Drake, because of the type of music that he makes, because he tries to hit so many of the masses, you know, like... It's going to be hard for him to please everybody, number one. And then number two, it's going to be really hard to please those people who are basically now Team Kendrick. Because if you really look at it, like, let's face it, like, people kind of had to choose between two sides here. And that's you didn't really have to, but that's what people made it seem like it really was. And in my opinion, like it, it it's kind of like if you're not Team Kendrick right now, then you're like kind of lost. Like you're kind of lost in the sauce right now. It might be a little different a couple of years from now, but right now, if you're not Team, team Kendrick, I don't know really what to tell you. Right. There has been a lot of division <laughs> between what side you're going to take um, and who won in this. Um, I would say like a lot of Los Angeles natives seem to be on Kendrick's side, whereas, you know, Toronto is riding with their boy <laughs> and which that makes sense. Right. But do you think like there's been a shift in how people look at Drake? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think the cultural impact on not like us i haven't seen anything like this in a really long time shane when when have you seen something like this when's or sorry run, let me rephrase the, the question when's the last time you've seen something like this um are you talking about, like are are we speaking specifically to like the battle aspect or just the hype around a song? The battle aspect. In the battle aspect, probably fifty and Ja is what this most reminds me of right now. What? Um, yeah, right. I can see why you would say that, and you actually elaborated on this earlier, so I, I'm gonna yeah. let you go ahead. But yeah. 50 and Ja, I would say, is right now, 
because we have to see what Drake does. You know what I'm saying? Like Drake theoretically and potentially can still bounce back right now and still be Drake. But when 50 and everybody else, but everybody remembers it as 50 versus Ja. So, you know, but when he came at Ja, after that, niggas looked at Ja Rule different. Like, niggas were like, we don't want to hear that singing bullshit no more. We're done with that. Get your lovey-dovey singing in the rain ass out of here. Like, niggas really felt like that about Ja Rule after we had been bumping him for years and loving all his music. You know what I'm saying? All that shit he put out with Ashanti was fire. You know what I mean? All of that stuff was dope. But uh, the, the Bobby Brown record, like, he had some joints back in the day that niggas were fucking with. Like, the... um. So all my ladies that be living it up, saying what? And like everybody loves that song. You Love know what that I'm song. You Love that song. General Rule up until Fifty said, "Hey, that nigga's not cool no more." And then we was like, "You know what? You're right." And then we just turned our back on that nigga. So that's what this feels like. Kendrick said, "Hey, Drake's not with the culture," and everybody was like, "You know what? You're right. This nigga's not really part of the culture. He's a culture vulture." Just blah blah blah. Like so, the way that people view Drake became different after the battle versus like so that's why i compared to 50 and ja like i don't remember that really where after two niggas got done battling where damn near everybody in the culture looked at one of the people different so to me that's what this reminds me the most of yeah i gotta agree i went on reddit to see how the bands were responding and they were ripping drake apart a lot of them were now i didn't realize there were so many haters of drake now all of a sudden people are coming on there and they're like oh never liked him just like you said the 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 jaw rule effect where it's like all of a sudden people are acting as though he wasn't the most streamed artist in the world so yeah that that is a bit confusing but um yeah that's what they're saying online and for kind of like what eric was saying when it comes to j cole they're claiming as though um they respect him a lot more, which is interesting because before the headlines were a lot about like everyone was upset about with him. They felt as though he wasn't representing hip hop. So, you know, it, it does seem as though people are still um, are, are now settling into a whole new perspective of now we respect J. Cole and Drake. We're looking at him sideways. So I guess the lyrics, <laughs> they definitely did work. Uh, Marcus, what did you think? I mean, I don't think, I guess, I don't think Ja Rule in 50 was an accurate uh, battle. Like, I don't, I, I guess I don't see that because I, I I don't see that Drake is being hated. I think Kendrick is being loved more, if that makes sense. But I don't feel like. Because Ja Rule literally couldn't sell out, couldn't do anything, couldn't move, couldn't like it. Wasn't that you just didn't like his music? Maury wanted to play it. Nobody wants Drake is gonna forever be played. 